Turns out free performance isn't actually free. Intel wants to give us massive honking integrated GPUs and Tesla's looking to put steam on its cars. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm gonna get into the hot news, <laughs> Brett Host. Oh man, tech news today is what we're doing. Thanks so much for watching. I just realized as I was saying all of that, I could have you talked about Tesla's being steam powered, which would have been a much better pun, but here we are. And let's go ahead and jump into a warning for everybody who watched yesterday's episode of Hot News, where we talked about how there was a new LHR unlock for RTX 30 series GPUs, in case you were trying to look to get more performance out of them. As I mentioned in yesterday's episode of Hot News, I specifically said this. Be wary, even though, you know, people might say it's safe, it could potentially uh, create some catastrophic ramifications down the line if there's any malware that potentially gets injected into the code or the code is malware itself. And that's because when you install anything that doesn't come from the actual manufacturer when it comes to drivers and all that kind of stuff, uh, it's, you should be suspicious. Well, it turns out the suspicious people went digging and found out that, yeah, that, that hack, it hacks you, okay? The people who went out and tested this software found out that there are 18 security violations, including Trojans and a whole bunch of other things that are included with this LHR unlock. So just know, number one, never really trust this stuff. Number two, don't really ever install things that are unsecure, especially when you have to bypass many security protocols in order to make it happen. And number three, Nvidia should unlock their GPUs and the fact that people have to do a third party workaround is a problem. That's where I'm gonna land this, but don't install it. Don't get your friends to install it. No free performance ever, okay? Except for when it comes to Intel's integrated GPUs. And by free, I mean, you are gonna have to pay for it later on down the line, but it's be free because it's included with your CPU. There's new reports coming out that because of TSMC's N3 process, it's going to allow Intel to scale up their GPUs. Currently, the highest end iGPU that Intel features is only 96 execution units. But according to the latest reports, because of the N3 process, we might even get up to 384 execution units in the upcoming Meteor and Arrow Lake CPUs that Intel will be releasing. That is, if we're just uh, all things the same and it's perfect scaling, that is four four times the amount of performance. Currently, Alder Lake is actually looking really good when it comes to its actual CPU performance on laptops and the integrated per GPU performance is like, all right. But if we got four times that, man, you guys know I'm a huge fan of integrated graphics. I love it when AMD does it. I wanna see Intel get competitive. We don't know when this is necessarily going to be dropping, but if we can get high end graphical performance in your CPU, like, man, I want that future. I want to be able to have like PS5 level performance in just one chip. And then imagine what the dedicated GPUs could do. But Steam is dedicating a page for you to go and find out whether or not your games are compatible with the Steam Deck. But don't worry, your life isn't compatible with the Steam Deck because you're never going to get one. Because even though you ordered it on launch day and they wouldn't accept your order because everything was crashed and they would just tell you that your credit card wasn't being accepted and that you weren't actually able to get through the checkout until an hour and a half after it launched because of all the problems that you were having and therefore even though you ordered it on the freaking release day of the reservations you're not getting yours until after q2 2022 not tomorrow on the 25th when they're launching but regardless of that i can now go to this page where they have to check whether or not the games i have in my specific game library are supported on the steam deck in case you're interested in mine god of war horizon zero dawn all of these good ones I, I don't i don't have many that are in there so these are the deck verified games and then we also have deck playable games that are in here and then the unsupported games back for blood how's back for blood not supported get on that turtle beach studios persona 4 golden is not supported come on that's the perfect game to freaking play on the gosh dang Steam Deck. Let me know what your Steam Deck verification page is looking like down below in the comments. I want to hear from you on that. And Call of Duty don't want to hear no more from you guys, okay? Because they're taking a year off. They're taking a sabbatical, a break. They've been releasing them too quickly. Activision just, you know, just saying, hey, we're not mating sales targets. We're releasing too much. That could be because they released Warzone. So they have this ongoing battle royale. It could be because they're releasing really duty games and not in just because that's in the name of the game, but they actually aren't necessarily great i haven't seen a whole lot of hype like obviously call of duty is currently better than the battlefield setup battlefield 2042 not well received but still call of duty's new releases have been kind of 
mixed and not necessarily something I've seen take the world by storm like they were previously. So they're going to take a year off to reevaluate and maybe get their life back together. It seemed like it worked for Assassin's Creed Origins and Odyssey came out and those seem to be pretty good and pretty well received games. So maybe Call of Duty can turn it around and Nier wants to turn themselves around from a game into an anime Nier Automata getting an anime release. Catlin, how do you feel about this? Is this a good or a bad thing? I'm not the Nier expert. Catlin is. Yes, 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 yes. But you know what I'm an expert at? Crypto stocks. I know how to read numbers on a page. Bitcoin down 1.4% on the day to be at 37.470. Ethereum down 0.24% to be at 26.13. And Dogecoin down 1.2% to be at 12.8 cents. Just a bit of a slumpy day for cryptocurrency. But don't you worry, you want to slump over in your Tesla and play some Steam games? Listen, we're talking about the Steam Deck and how, this, how that's great. It's portable. Listen, a Tesla is the most portable game console you could possibly have, especially since the newly refreshed Model S and Model X have a Navi 23 GPU in them. A lot of people have been anticipating the ability to play games. Tesla was even hiring for people to actually develop for their car consoles for you to be able to play video games on them. Somebody asked Elon Musk on Twitter, hey, when are we getting Cyberpunk? Because that was supposed to be a launch title on these cars. Elon saying that we are working through the general case of making Steam games work on Tesla versus specific titles. Former is obviously where we should be long term. So instead of specific specifically developing for the car, they're trying to get Steam to work on the car or at least Steam games to work on the car. Whether or not Steam will be part of the arcade moving forward is not yet no, but this is an exciting future. I like that was one of the selling points of the new cars. If you could play video games, especially on the backseat screen that they included and your kids could just play cyberpunk. It was really only Cyberpunk and Witcher, neither of which I think my kids should be playing right now. Regardless, it would have been, my wife could have been driving. I could have been playing video games in the back seat. But I'm going to take the back seat to this episode of Hot News. I'll see you tomorrow for some more tech news around the internet, my friends. Cheerios.